Hello. At first, excuse my French because I'm French and uh, I'll try to speak English as best as I can. Today I'm gonna talk about the landing gears on the 350QX. Uh, for the purpose of my demonstration, I'm using um, just uh, uh, the, the body wi w without anything inside. Um, so, um, when you buy the, the 330, uh, 350QX, uh, you have these landing gears. They are not very tall and the problem is if you want to put a gimbal or anything under, uh, this might be a problem. Uh, so you can buy some other landing gears that are what they call the tall landing gears. Uh, as you can see, so uh, mine, uh, I put uh, a reflective co coating, uh, highly reflective coating on, uh, on, on the gears so I can see them from afar. So what you can see is that the gears are uh, actually uh, taller, uh, for sure, uh, but the base of the gear is the same size. So what uh, what this problem, what it's causing uh, as a problem, is that if I take this out here, there is a good stability, but if you put a tall landing gear here then the stability is not as good because it's really tall and the base is still small okay that's the first problem stability second problem if you want to put this in a, in a, uh, in a case or for transportation with this 8 it's not a problem because it's about uh, 13 centimeters so most uh, cases will fit but if you want to put something big like this uh, it won't fit as uh, like, like this it, it will never fit it's it's really really too too tall okay so I came with these two problems and uh, wanted to find a solution to be able to remove these gears in field without any tool and to put them in back in place so I can uh, tidy them in, in the case um, and put them back uh, when I need that. So two problems, stability and being able to remove this. I'm gonna try to do it fast. First for the stability problem, uh, what I did is that I took these gears uh, and I decided to add uh, carbon fiber uh, rods here are a square carbon fiber uh, and uh, it's one centimeter of diameter so what I did I uh, drilled holes in, in this uh, rod um, I, I, used, uh, I used some uh, nylon plastic screws so it's still very light uh, screws that I uh, glued and um, now it's uh, quite easy because I can put them in place and uh, to be able to take them uh, fast I use thumb screws so it's three millimeters uh, screws um, and here the good things about these screws so you see and then it's really sturdy a uh, good thing about these screws I'm talking about the plastic screws is that you can easily cut them so these one were like 20 millimeters long but I only needed something like 12 or 13 or 15 so just with the cutter it's really easy to uh, to cut Okay, and uh, uh, I, I drilled many holes so I can, if I want to, take, put them just uh, more fr on, on the outside or more on the inside, it's not a problem. Uh, I did this because uh, when you're using a camera for a first person view, uh, sometimes, depending on the, the field of the lens you're using, but you can see the gears. So you might want to to 
to put them like this so you won't see them okay whatever a very easy solution and a very cheap solution you can find all this on eBay for a few bucks okay with this it's very stable what I'm gonna do next but I don't have it uh, already I'm gonna put some like uh, uh, balls here and here uh, with colors so I can even see it better uh, from afar okay so that was for the stability problem now the other problem was um, to be able to remove this easily so if you take this and you will see you have these screws here and here if you want to uh, put them back in place you need a tool and you, you should not lose this take them out in the case and uh, it's the other one and when you want to put them back uh, it's, it's always the same problem you have to put the screw again and the screw it okay so instead of having a screw here and here plus when you're using this screw uh, time after time that might that might hurt the, 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 the plastic casing um, instead of using this what I did I uh, bought these little um, I will show you 2.5 millimeter that's the diameter of these screws and instead of placing like this and this I placed them inside so I'll show you inside okay that's the inside empty but normally here you have the you have the, the, the control board and the GPS and the battery here okay and you can see here this is this so I put that here in a way that it goes out here what I did next I removed a, some part of plastic here so this come out about like uh, this Oops. and uh, using some spacers 2.5 millimeters I can then um, fix that here on th on the body and take this out okay the problem is that that's not easy to do so I prefer thumb screws I didn't find any 2.5 millimeters thumb screws so what I did I did screws by myself so I took some 2.5 millimeters uh, I, I, I bought um, this 2.5 here is a 2.5 screw here are my 3 millimeters thumb screw plastic that I use for the rods and then I do this I glue everything so it's very sturdy and nice and I have thumb screws and so this is really easy then to uh, uh, manipulate okay so uh, here is the final product um, and here is what I did with my 350QX you can see here the screw coming out from the inside and here I can then okay I show you how fast I can do this this is in my suitcase I take take it oh, I have to take this out look it's so fast 
and that's done. And now this is just as good as if there was this screw uh, from the outside and I have my uh, 350 ready to be assembled or disassembled. Yet there is still another problem that I will uh, uh, just uh, talk about now. It's this uh, little compass. You know that this compass is going inside the, um, uh, the body and it's plugged to the control board. Uh, it goes by these little holes, holes that you can see uh, here. You see these holes. Okay, so normally you have. Uh, uh, I will. Sh I will find it. I should have it here somewhere. Okay, this is a compass here. By the way, never put these near magnets or any magnetic field because uh, it can ruin it. So uh, this goes inside through this. Okay, so you have the body here, it goes into the body and then into the main board. So what if you take this out, you have this. And this is a problem because uh, you cannot uh, put that away with this thing. So what I did, I bought these little um, connectors that are exactly the same as this one. And uh, midway here, I put one of these connector so now I can easily take it out this show you and even the the, the gear with the, the compass on it I can take it out Oops, and you can see the compass is still here, and I can put that in my suitcase. And now, even with my gimbal here, the size is still. 13 centimeters. I can prove it. Look, this is still the same as when I was using the small gears. So this will fit in any case. Thank you for watching. I hope it will be uh, of any help for people looking to improve their 350QX and I will come back very soon with other videos. Thank you and bye.